Hey everyone, Evil Noodle here. Hello and welcome back to another Brick in the Mall. How are you? Hope you are all well. In our last episode, we uh, created this little movie complex here, cinema. Uh, we did leave out this one. Um, I'm not sure why now. I think I just didn't get around to finishing it. Perhaps uh, we could start that in a minute maybe not just yet uh but this is our shopping i don't know uh area so far um still quite a way to go to be fair um i have left the game running uh just to build up some cash we're, we're not looking at that actually we're really close to a million so that's nice <laughs> it that if only that was my real bank balance hmm maybe <laughs> maybe one day uh first of all though i have noticed uh this section here i mean traffic really isn't a big problem in this because it just and uh, it doesn't really affect it that i know of but i've noticed this they uh, people will come out of here and drive along here and because all the car parking mainly is here uh this section here does get rather blocked up rather quickly and I guess it makes the deliveries so I guess it does actually because the delivery vehicles will get stuck in that um, I mean it's quite late at the night time at the moment so there's not so many people about but what I was thinking to begin with um, oh there has been a slight update this here has updated nothing really that I know of has changed but uh, these pictures here don't think there's been anything added as such although was there a bench I don't know maybe there have mm, no I don't I don't know I'm not sure about that one uh, but I know this bit here has been updated um okay that's remove so what i'm thinking is to remove this road here and then uh we uh, this one it's getting used to the new icons now and popping it down about um popping it down about one, two, uh, three, four. Let's pop it down here instead. And I'm hoping with this road here gone, it should alleviate some uh, traffic flow. In theory. Uh, let's speed the game up. Uh, let's just speed it all the way up. Um, so that was the first thing I wanted to do. The second thing, we, okay, let's slow it back down again a, a little bit. Oh, we'll put it back down to normal actually. Um, let's get this car shop done. So we're going to pop in some uh, tills first. So we want objects, which is here. and uh, we need to find where the tills are okay check out counters I'm not 100% sure how I want this um, I guess we would have the tills this way round like that maybe Yeah, I think that would work. So let's pop one in there. One there. One there. Um, we put four in for the time being. Let's go for four for the time being, I think. And now. Uh, oh, ah, yes. 
The kitchen pass. What is that? Requires project restaurants too. Fine dining cooking. Ah, oh, so things have been added in. Ah, so we need. Do we need to have an office again then? Okay. Uh, well, we can do that. Let's. Ah, oh, so what more stuff is it? Uh, it's just those two. So we've fine dining and kitchen pass. Mm, I don't know what that is. I'm not too sure. Uh, we've got the restaurant tables. Now they were in already actually. I don't recall seeing these two. They were probably there. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, okay. So we want... Now for car parts, I think it's the shelves. Um, yes. Now this probably is quite a big shop. I guess we could split it half and half and we could have a tool shop as well. With that thought in mind, let's extend the checking counters uh, like so uh, eight will do that is plenty and we want to go back up to the shelves now if you're not I should have said this at the beginning actually uh, why is this not being built guess he's on his way yeah, the whole point of this game is to build your shopping center. You inherited this big plot of land and uh, just to build up a great big shopping center, really. Um, make as much money as you can, sell as much things, you know. Okay, now how would we like this organized? Uh, the do, 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 do. Sorry, so the counters are there. So we go on there. Let's do blocks of three. Two, three. Two, three. If you can think of a better name than the car shop, um, because I can't at the moment. <laughs> so, so um, because you can add, you can create whatever name that you want uh, to call, you know, your shop. Uh, and thinking of names, I'm not the best at. So, yeah, if you've got any suggestions, let me know, and I can add them into the game. Okay, so let's pop some. We'll do sort of a symmetrical type system I guess that's the most practical one there one there no 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 one there and hmm that bit we're gonna have to leave but that's not a problem as such now I'm thinking that's a food shelf now does this one do the power tools as well yes it does <clears throat> so we could have let's have some along here oh I'll tell you what we don't have is storage no we don't so we better do that as well uh, let's create a sign storage uh, one two three four five six seven eight let's go eight down 
Would that be enough? Um. Eight by eight. Yeah, I think that would do. Now we'll pop a wall around that, make it look pretty, which is just here. And the door as well. So we're gonna want one of these. Um just there. And we want one for the outside. Uh pop it there. I think <clears throat> now we've done the entrance now we can pop in some more shelves thinking like so do it blocks of four this time maybe yeah it looks a bit uneven but yeah that's okay I don't want it to be all the same old sort of thing you know Uh, we probably should have put it like that. We're going to do the same here, I think. Um, just one there, and one there. Let's pop some more down along here. One, two, three, and four. And uh, we'll do five. I don't think we're going to sell all these products, um, but I, just, I don't know. I like the idea of a big car shop, you know, where people can go to. Probably going to want to upgrade the parking slightly. Yeah, that seems to be working a bit better, a bit more efficiently. All right, so the storage is going to go in. Uh, where are the workers? Let's speed it up a little bit. Okay. So let's have um, car tools. It's going to be pretty much just car tools. This is going to take some time. I will catch you in a second and welcome back here we are all done now so put all the um, car stuff on these aisles here and down here as well and just over here I've put the hand tools uh, I guess that would oh yeah so hammer um, paint brushes I, I don't know but no wouldn't be a paintbrush, would it? That's more decorative. I don't know. Toolboxes, bits and pieces. Um, and down here you've got the power drills. And uh, I did pop some more hand tools down here. Um, yeah, all different types of bits and pieces. Now, I did put some books as well. I was thinking um, they're probably not the right type of books. But I was thinking, you know, they could be car magazines or I don't know. Something like that, anyway. Uh, so this is all done now. I'm hoping this is going to be, you know, popular. Because it's a heck of a big store. Um, a very big store, to be honest. I think I might pop a bit more parking in here. Uh, oh no, customer parking, that's better. <laughs> So a bit more parking in there. I guess we could do this bit as well. Yeah, why not? Let's do that bit. Um, yeah, that's okay. 
Mm. Yeah, I like the look of this. Nice big shop. Looking good. Uh, so, okay, so we've got the cinema up. Now, I'm thinking I'd like to put in an arcade as well. Sort of a... Um, uh, lots of lots of games and arcade machines in there. I think that'd be a nice little touch to the shopping mall. Well, I say shopping mall was not really much at all at the moment. Um, but one thing I would like to do, and this was our first shop that we created, um, which is still our most busiest. And those shelves are kind of, well, I guess they're getting stocked. Yeah, it's not too bad, but they could probably do with a bit of help, to be honest. Do we have enough? One, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, we've got plenty of stock clerks in. Uh, it's just a busy shop. But I was thinking of doing something like this over, uh, over here instead. So... I'm just finish with, finishing my cup of tea. So, mind you, how would I like the road layout? Um, guess we could come off here. Like that. So 10,000, or do we match that road up there? 9,000, yeah, let's do that. Oh, we're one short. <laughs> there we go. Pop a nice big store in here. I guess it could go in there. We're going to have the parking. Let's run this road up to here. How would we have the parking? Along here, I guess. Let's run it down and across. No, one, two, and three. One, two, three. Da, da, da. Let's run these across. Uh, we just keep it bog standard grids. Not the most prettiest, but it is sufficient, uh, efficient. Bollocks. <laughs> uh, never mind, we could make something else out of that. Uh, I guess the loading zones, possibly. Yeah, I guess we could put loading zones maybe along there. Mind you, what we could do is run it out a bit like this as well. So if we go, f uh, what have we got? One, two, three, four, uh, right, I'm going to do that. these should we put one more along here i don't think they're the right are they them yeah, it looks a bit shorter doesn't it mm. one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, mind you, why don't I just, 4,800, uh, ah, there we go, it was just one short, uh, 
Uh, yeah, that's okay. Run that down like so. Right now they're building that. That's lovely. Let's speed up a little bit. And pop in some foundations. Um, okay, let's see what we got. Oh, that's expensive. Uh, let's go sixty three by sixty three ninety and come on, match up. One over, right. That's one mil. Blimey, that's a lot of money. <whistles> Do we want it that big? Let's bring it down to 60 by 80. Okay, there we go. Now that's a big building. Probably should have put that down here. No, up there's no, that's all right. That will be okay. I'm just hoping we make enough money to support it. How are we doing down here? Uh, not as busy as I hoped, but I guess it's quite late in the day. Oh, that's something we need to do. We need to put the office back again. Uh, where would we put that? Guess we put it back up here where it was in the first place. Uh, we want to build. Do foundations again. I guess we could just pop it in here like that, I guess. Yeah, that's okay. And, um, I'll pop in some walls, which is objects, staff door. Let's have the door there. Yeah, that's all right. Now, I don't think we could put objects down until... Uh, which one's objects? Back here again. Um, now, we want the office desk. Now, we can't put that in just yet. I guess the foundation's got to be done. And I think we're going to be out of workers for some time. Okay, so welcome back. Um, I have finished the store. Um, probably didn't really want to sit through all of that because it kind of makes the video super long. So I've done a few extra bits as well. So the store has been finished. We've created the storage area, which is fantastic. Put in some loading bays here. We've got the... Uh, garbage pickup here as well and plenty of staff parking as well all the car park area has been done so a nice big car park area we actually have over 2,000 spaces now <laughs> we're 
uh, for what we have is probably overkill at the moment anyway I've also done uh, the offers here as well so we can research now I was uh, see here it is now we need to so restaurants two. so that's a new feature um, 192 man hours so and that unlocks the fine dining restaurants so that's I like that that's kind of nice because you were only restricted to sort of the fast food place um, so this is gonna be quite nice so let's research that that's gonna take some time but it's gonna be worth it because we can have a nice little restaurant going on as well now I have noticed uh, during peak hours this the meat shop is super busy so I think at one point we will extend it out bring it across put in some more tills and uh, we'll put some more I think so we have the big storage area up here ideally we should have had one down here but I don't know I might increase the stock clerks to this uh, meat shop I think I think that'd be the best thing to do but we'll do that in the next episode we'll bring it out extend it and make it a bit more practical and uh, I think actually um, yeah we'll do that in the next episode uh, but for this one we'll concentrate on this store here now I want this to be an almighty food store a um, bit like our original one over here which is our main money earner now I don't want to go too crazy on the meat product well, I don't know uh, we have to see how it goes but to finish off I think let's get the layout of the store done so let's pop in we're gonna do uh, the checkout counters first I think put in three doors over here I think that's gonna be enough we could increase it to one there maybe one there maybe e hmm Yeah, I think that'd be okay but let's get the checkouts in now how would I like how would be best to do this do we have them along the edge do we have them going down Let's have them going down actually. Uh, so we could pop one. Let's leave a little gap. Zoom in a little bit. Um, I don't want them too close. I think that's about right. So let's get. Oh, let's get loads of these down. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, <laughs> 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, mm, yeah, that's okay. Uh, 18, 19, 28 29 30 tills this is going to be uh, should we just continue across yeah let's just do that uh, so 31 32 33 34 35 fantastic oh now let's put in uh, what else do we need? So we've got the checkout counters. Uh, we need... Yeah, okay. Uh, now let's put in the shelves. Uh, let's do... Blimey, this store is going to be massive. 
I think I've underestimated <laughs> how big this store is. Um, actually, one thing we could do whilst I remember, uh, we want to... Um, storage, oh, here we go. Let's increase it to 100%. So it's continuously full. I think I might increase the tills. think that might be an idea. Um, should I have them going this way? No, that won't work. So let's just do that. This is going to be one heck of a mega store for food. <laughs> so let's get all of this stuff in place. Gonna play it on the safe side, I think, by having lots of tills. I think that's the best thing to do. Our money is gone skyrocketing again, so that's fantastic. Okay, let's get in the shelves. Okie doke. Now how should I do this? Let's go like so. Oh, actually. Should we do them going like that? Or... No, we will do it like this. Uh, let's take that away. I don't want to be full on like how we're doing it now, but for the first section probably going to be the most practical possibly probably going to need a maintenance center well we will need them yeah I think I might put that in about here so we've got three rows there let's do a fourth Let's do it like that. Plenty of shelves in. Shame you can't just hold the button down and do like a long line. That would be uh, an idea. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, we've got quite a few in there. Let's do some more on this side. Like so. So I want this to be one heck of a busy store and I'm thinking it's going to go that way. I'm just hoping by 
making this into such a big store it's not gonna make the other stores empty because everyone just goes to this one I hope that's not gonna be the case um, let's just go say let's go all the way across like this uh, now I want to leave a bit of a gap <laughs> I go on left to right and then up and down just to try and make it a bit <laughs> more varied oops no that's not alright uh, let's can it go lo no we'll leave that bit how it is looking sharp now I think we will actually add in um I think I want to put in some toilets we'll get those up the top here I think so let's do that now uh, we want a wall guess it could run Twenty by ten. Get rid of that. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. All right, let's pop in the door. Uh, here it is. Um, guess we could have a double door. Uh, it's going to be busy toilets I guess yeah let's put that in just there okay that's good and we're gonna have a maintenance center as well which oh no we have one I think I might make that a bit bigger now there let's remove this little bit there and I think we'll get rid of the door and that and bring it out to about there Yeah, that'd be okay. Mind you, was that meant to be foundations? Yeah, it would have been. Um, let's pop the door back in. Yeah, that do. That's okay. Right, plenty of stock in anyway. Oh, that's <laughs> blimey, that's going to take ages to put all the bloody products. Um, I'll probably do that off camera, I think. I don't think you're going to want to watch all of that. Right, okay, let's get in some tables now for fruit and veg, which I think can go sort of in the middle. about there a bit like that maybe let's go two more across like this try and make it a bit different looking so there
Mm. Yeah, that's okay. Two. Got four in there. Yeah, that's all right. Good. Right, this needs to be the toilet, so let's uh, assign that to be the restroom. Like so, restroom 20. And we're gonna wanna pop in some cubicles. Uh, where are they? Probably been in to begin with, there we go. Um, here we are, right. Now I don't actually think anyone actually washes their hands in this game. So I think you can get away with just having one sink. Because <laughs> I've never seen anyone wash their hands afterwards. Dirty bastards. Isn't that amazing if you go out for a pint you go into the pub and uh, into the toilets and you know for a fact that people only wash their hands if someone else walks in <laughs> it's just like you know because someone else is watching or something I don't know um, do we want urinals as well yeah I guess so uh, let's pop in I don't know a couple Get rid of that one. Uh, okay, the wall. We have a little wall going across, like so. Yeah, that's good. Is that enough space, actually? Hmm. Is that all right? I guess if we bring Yeah, then we can put the sinks in there. Yeah, that'll do. <clears throat> I don't think we could put them in just yet because the ball's not in, but we can change the floor tiles. Let's. I was. I wouldn't mind some more colours to be honest. Uh, let's have a green. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's all right. Now let's change the floor. Tiles as well, uh, checkered. No, don't like that. Mm, what color could we have? They're all pretty boring, to be honest. Um, yeah, let's go for that one. How's that looking? Oh, it doesn't affect. Oh, okay. Uh, no, we need to change this one, I think. I think we have that the white. Um. 
Did we need to... Yeah, I know we need sinks, but I need to put in the wall first. <clears throat> right, so what we got done... Uh, we're going to want some... Let's get the janitors in. That would be... Not that one. Oh, we haven't assigned it, that's why. So that would be under... Where's the maintenance? Oh, there it is. Okie doke. So let's go to maintenance center 23 and hire some staff, some janitors. Uh, just go for the greenest looking ones. They're all pretty much the same, to be honest. Uh, okay, so 12 hours. Uh, that's not bad. Twelve hours. I think we have four and four. Okay, so let's get some for night time as well. Higher. Seven o'clock. Twelve hours. So, would be nice if you could set, select the ones and then, you know, and then do it. Um, there's two so far. Twelve hours free, and who's going to be the lucky one? There you go. Lovely. Uh, we get one more builder in the morning and night time. Seven. Twelve hours, and one at night time as well. 19, 12, super, let's give them a, yeah, I don't really like that, that will do. This store is <laughs> Ridiculous. Do I want it just food? We could probably put in some books or something. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Let's pop in the sinks while I remember. One there, one there, one there, one there. That will do. Uh, is that finished? That was under restroom. Requires toilet sinks. Well, I've done that. Oh, they're not being built. Okay, fair enough. Let's speed up a little bit. Blimey, look at Morgola. Look at them all. How many people do we have on site? 1,400. Crikey. What the hell are they do? Look at it. <laughs> it's like watching ants. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Look at that go. That's just insane. They love the meat shop. This isn't as busy as I... Mine, no, it's not doing too badly. It's not too bad. How's the fast food going? Fast food is... Very busy, actually. That's lovely to see. Brilliant. 
yeah right the sinks are done and they're in use okay plenty of car parking right so this area is done this is all going to be I'm going to do this off camera so because I mean the process of click uh, click you know that's going to take some time so I'm going to do this off camera so it's all set up ready hire the staff etc etc um, parking is in now oh, we did do this as well uh, how's this getting along this seems to be doing rather well actually where are our stock clerks do I only have oh hang on oh hang on a second which maintenance oh no that's not where are they disappearing to did we not assign it what the the car shop um so where does it say the storage is coming from Who's not stocked? Staff. Seven to seven, seven to seven. Where the hell are they? <clears throat> going up there or she why are they going to there let's just did I assign it to the wrong place Why are they doing that? Did I not? Uh, let's just <clears throat> right. The car shop zone. Right, that's the storage. Storage nine seventeen. Let's just hire <clears throat> one more person, I think. Uh, the car shop staff stock clerk. Why are they going up there? That's just. They don't make any sense. One more for night time.
That's just weird what they're doing. Right, they seem to be getting it from there now. Did I have the wrong storage selected then? That was weird. Kind of glad I noticed that though, to be honest. Right, now where was I? Okay, <clears throat> so this is all done. Toilets are open. Uh, not sure about these little areas at the moment. I'm going to do something. Going to stock all the shelves off camera. Going to hire uh, so many staff. Um, you're not going to want to see that because. I'm probably going to fall asleep halfway through. Um, wow, there's a lot of delivery vans. The car shop seems to be doing eh, not too bad. Um, this is just crazy. I'm not surprised people are parking over here, to be honest. Look at them. I just love the way that they flock over. Blah, blah, run, 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 run. Get my ice cream. Um, in the next episode, I would like to well, we'll finish that little uh, cinema bit off there and extend this out um, down and across and up and I don't know something or other um, make it into a nice big actual joined up building but not square like that you know have some corridors going down I think it'll look quite nice um, uh, what these little areas I'm not too sure on. I'd like to do a few more little tiny shops. Yeah. Just to break it up a little bit. Um, so next episode, let's extend this out. Extend this. Make it a bit bigger, the meat shop. Because it certainly needs it. Um, I'd like to put in a little arcade area. Go on a few games. <coughs> Excuse me, Pac-Man and all the bits and pieces um, but that went well that was good let's slow it back down again so yeah we've done a fair bit today I'm happy with the way that this is going I'm concerned about <coughs> excuse me uh, parking spaces whether we're going to have enough or not but <laughs> this I'm looking forward to to see how busy it gets definitely well thank you so kindly for watching um i hope you did enjoy the video if you've got any names of what you'd like me to call for instance the cinema got any uh, funny names that you might like to see it be called let me know in the comments down below if you've got any suggestions for the series or maybe a new one uh, after this one let me know what you would like to see um, any comments uh, I certainly appreciate um, nice ones anyhow <laughs> even the negative ones I mean it gives me um, you know feedback on what I'm doing wrong maybe uh, if that was the case um, but it's nice to hear from you so have a little chat in the comments down below let us know how you are what ideas you may have for our shopping centre and um, any names you'd like to call the shops yeah um, thank you so kindly for watching do remember to drop a like if you did like the video thumbs down if you didn't share the video about and uh, subscribe if you could be so kind if you think you can put up with me anymore and until the next one thank you so kindly for watching and I will catch you later. Goodbye.